In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to flash an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 680 graphics card for use in an Apple Mac Pro. Now, this flashing will work with any 64-bit EFI Mac Pro, so that would be a Mac Pro 3,1 or later, um, and it should work with pretty much any GeForce GTX 680 video card. Um, however, the first thing you're going to want to check before you get started is that your GTX 680 has the same port layout as this reference GTX 680 uh, that I have right here. Um, any card with the same port layout uh, should work just fine with this flashing process. So, now that you've verified that you have a compatible card, the next thing you're going to need is to ensure you have a copy of Windows installed onto your Mac Pro. So here you can see I have a copy of Windows 7 installed. Um, this is of course my Mac Pro. Uh, you can see it right down there. And I do have its original graphics card installed at this time, or my Radeon HD 5870, just so I can show you this. Um, but of course, uh, the system will boot into Windows just fine uh, using a non-flashed video card. So I will be putting this in the system uh, in just a minute here, um, and then booting it up and getting into Windows uh, with this card installed, even though it's unflashed. So, um, yeah, before you do that, though, you're going to need to make sure you already have a copy of Windows installed, as you can see I do here. And uh, once you've gotten a copy installed, you're going to need to download NV Flash. Now, as you can see, I have uh, in a, it in a folder here along with the GTX 680 Mac ROM, which will be flashing to the card. So, uh, now that you have everything uh, on your system, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and shut it down and install your NVIDIA GeForce GTX 680 graphics card. So I'm going to go ahead and shut my system down and install the card right now. Alright, so as you can see here, I've now gotten my NVIDIA GeForce GTX 680 graphics card um, installed into my Mac Pro. Um, so now I'll just go ahead and power on the system. I actually, before I do that, I do have my Windows uh, Boot Camp volume set as the startup disk. Um, so when I turn the system on, it'll boot straight into Windows so I don't need to uh, use the boot menu to get uh, Windows to start. So I recommend you do that as well, especially um, without an EFI Flash video card installed because of course that's what we're going to be doing um, in this video. And I actually recommend that you don't have any other graphics cards installed uh, at this time just to avoid any problems when it comes to flashing. So with that, We'll go ahead and turn the system on. Now, of course, this being a PC card and not Mac Flash at this point, uh, we will not get a boot screen, as I said. Uh, but if we go ahead and let the system uh, start booting off of the Windows volume. You can see that we now get the BIOS boot screen um, and is now booting into my Windows 7 install. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here and resume it once Windows has started up. Alright, so as you can see here, my install of Windows has successfully booted up. However, as you can see, there is no uh, video driver installed for my graphics card. Now, this might be optional, I'm not sure, but I would recommend that you install uh, the NVIDIA driver before doing any flashing uh, just to avoid any issues uh, when flashing the card. I don't think it will be necessary, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and do that just in case and uh, then we'll begin the process of flashing the card. So I'm going to go ahead and get the NVIDIA driver installed real quick and then we'll go ahead and resume the video. Alright, so as you can see here, I've gotten the driver installed. Um, you can see it shows up right there, and of course, uh, the Windows Arrow theme is enabled once again. So now, we can begin the process of flashing the card. So, the first thing we need to do is open up an administrator command prompt. So we'll go over here and type CMD in the start menu, and then right-click on it and select Run as Administrator. Select Yes. And then what we want to do is CD into the directory containing NV Flash and your uh, or the uh, GTX 680 Mac ROM. Now, of course, I will be putting a link to all this stuff in the video description. Um, so go ahead and copy the path up here in the address bar 
And then we want to CD into the directory. So just type CD space and then go ahead and paste that path in. All right, and once we're in that path, now what we want to do is run NV Flash or NV Flash 64, uh, depending on whether or not you have a 64-bit copy of Windows. So if you do have a copy of 64-bit Windows, as I do, we will be using NV Flash 64. If not, if you're using a 32-bit version, we will be using NV Flash. So in my case, I'm going to type NV Flash 64 space dash dash save and then we're going to type the name of the ROM we want to dump. So what we're going to do at this point is save a copy of the ROM that's currently on the card um, to this directory uh, just as a backup. Um, we're not actually going to use it for anything uh, but it is always important to save a backup um, of your video cards ROM just in case something goes wrong. So go ahead and do nvflash64 dash dash save and then you can name this whatever you want. So I'm just going to name it 680pc.rom and then once we've got that entered just go ahead and press return and as you can see saving of image completed. So now what we can go ahead and do is look in our directory and there's our ROM file right there. As you can see, it is 179 kilobytes. Um, our Mac ROM is actually a little bit larger, but uh, I think the EEPROM on this card is 512K, so we should be good there. Um, so yeah, we've gotten the uh, backup dump saved to the ROM, or saved to our computer. So now what I want to do is flash on the GTX 680 Mac ROM. So as you can see, I have it in the directory like I showed before. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and go up here and enter the following command. So go ahead and enter NV Flash 64 if you're running a 64-bit system, as I said before, dash six space the name of the ROM we want to flash. So in this case, it is GTX 680 Mac.rom. Let's go ahead and enter that. And with that entered, it should now go ahead and flash the ROM. All right, and it'll ask to confirm the PCI subsystem ID mismatch. That is okay, go ahead and press Y. Um, it'll ask to update the display adapter firmware. Go ahead and press Y once again. It will write the ROM. And uh, once that's complete, you should say firmware image has been updated to a different version, whatever it says there. And uh, now it should tell you to reboot. So that should be a successful flash of the Mac ROM onto a GTX 680. So now we'll go ahead and close uh, the, the windows, reboot the system, and see if we get a boot screen. So go ahead and reboot here. And I'm going to go ahead and hold down the option key just in case we do get a boot menu. And look at that, we have a boot screen. So I'm holding down the option key right now so we can go ahead and boot into my OS X volume. And as you can see, all the volumes show up there. Go ahead and boot into my Mavericks install. And of course, make sure everything is working properly. All right, so everything looks to be working. We have graphics acceleration. So let's go ahead into about this Mac and look at that. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 680, two gigabytes of VRAM detected. Go ahead and displays. You can see it sees my 30 inch Apple cinema display at its full resolution. Let's go to system report, graphics and displays here. You can see that it detects it, of course, as a GTX 680 here as well, with a ROM revision of 3731. So the last thing we're gonna check is the PCI card section and see if we are running at five gigatrans a second. And indeed we are. So 
That is how to flash an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 680 graphics card for use on an Apple Mac Pro. Now, as I said before, this only works uh, on a Mac Pro 3,1 or later system uh, with 64-bit EFI. Um, so yeah, that is how to flash an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 680. Hope you enjoyed this video.